Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone, hope you guys are all doing well, it's Oscar and today we're going to be talking about if Paulson's RHC or the kind of right hat and cane is going to be the new THC. Now, in many ways, obviously Paulson doesn't manufacture THC chips as much as they do RHC chips anymore, so it will obviously take time for more collectors, I guess, to kind of jump into that realm, but um, obviously Paulson created or manufactured uh, THC, which is top hat and cane. I'm gonna refer to it as normal H or the hat and cane chips, um, and I'll refer to RHC as RHC. So Paulson, uh, Paulson manufactured norm or the hat and cane chips from the, let's say mid of the 70s, um, or the beginning of the 70s all the way up until I'm pretty sure they still do it current day. Obviously you can still get um, nor like the normal hat and cane chips current day because um, there was a chip purchase almost a year ago that was um, standard hat and canes. Now that doesn't mean that Paulson doesn't doesn't manufacture it because you are still able to get it. Um, but I think the thing is, there's much less of standard hat and cane chips nowadays than uh, let's say 20 years ago. And obviously that could be um, because of manufacturing uh, evolving or, or manufacturer developments. Um, could also be that people want to get more into a different mold. Um, or I'm not sure even if RHC chips are uh, cheaper than standard hat and cane chips, but I have no idea. I'd expect them to be the same price. And the only difference, let's say, let's say if you were a casino, the only difference on the pricing would be um, the amount of edge spots you have. Um, and that should only be the only difference because edge spots obviously it takes more time to manufacture a chip with, let's say, eight different edge spots than a chip that is just a solid base color. So with that being said, um, I know there's a ton of different um, Casinos that have closed that people have been kind of, uh, uh, how would I say, they've, they've been collecting the chips. Um, and there's also a bunch of open casinos that people have been collecting chips with RHC. So, um, like the Isle of Capri from Kansas City, I know myself, I have about three racks of the fives. Um, there's a bunch of people out there that have sets of those Isle of Capri, Kansas City chips. Um, mainly secondaries, I think, but I'm pretty sure there's primary and secondary chips out there. Um, primary chips being the chips that were in play. Secondary chips are the, uh, like the, the backup set, I guess we could say. Um, then you have Jack Cincinnati, um, Horseshoe Cleveland. Um, I think there's like two or three different Horseshoe casinos that close that people have collected quite a few RHC chips from. Um, Jack Cincinnati, um, but there's a whole bunch of them, and um, the thing is, the only difference between the RHC chips and the standard uh, hat and cane chips, um, the, I guess the main difference is um, you have a bigger inlay. So um, I know the majority of people, let's say in the chipping community, more specifically on PCF, like to take chips. I'm not, this isn't everyone, I'm not saying this is everyone, but I know there's there's quite a few people that like to make custom, custom sets. So if you're able to find a chip that has a great base color with um, some amazing edge spots and you wanna use it, let's say it's originally a $1 chip, but you wanna use it as a frack in your set, you're gonna to wanna to relabel this chips, uh, either milling it, most people um, don't necessarily, most people mill hot stamp chips. Um, I've seen people mill inlay chips, but not so much. Usually with the inlay chips, you just relabel it. So you just take like an X-Acto knife and you basically uh, take the old laminated uh, label off and then you can get labels ordered where you can just slap those on. So I know there's plenty of people that do that with um, RHC chips. And uh, like I said, there's a lot of people that really like to uh, take, um, chips and, and make them theirs or um, if they don't have an option they'll just go ahead and make their own but like I said the only I guess the, the main difference I know is it has a larger inlay plus most of the RHC chips nowadays aren't leaded um, if I remember correctly Paulson 
Um, I talked about this in a video. I can I can link it up there if you guys want to go check it out. But Paulson stopped creating leaded chips. Um, I think it was in 2006 or somewhere in that area. Um, the basically the health organization basically um, figured out that having lead or even tiny bits of lead particles in the chips um, over time obviously it wears and it wears on your rear fingers and there's a chance that that uh, lead could possibly let's say um, enter your body in some way let's say if you touched your face like I just did or if you accidentally licked your fingers or something like that before washing them um, then there's a chance that you could possibly get some type of sickness but um, from my knowledge most chips nowadays aren't leaded there's a there's maybe a possibility that there might be some, but I'd say 80, 85%, 90% of chips aren't leaded nowadays. But um, those are the, like, the two main differences. Um, but as far as it goes, I do think that um, RHC chips are going to get uh, popular towards the, let's say, coming years as standard hat and cane chips aren't going to be able to... Um, uh, let's say most casinos aren't going to be ordering standard hat and cane chips. Now, I could be wrong. There's there's a possibility that Paulson or GPI is just going to start shoving RHC chips out left and right. Um, RHC chips might be just something that's uh, like a trend and it could die. I don't know. I know GPI and Paulson, they're going to keep the hat and cane no matter what type of chips they do. And they're going to keep going for a long time because... From my knowledge, the chips that they create aren't too expensive. Um, as as far as casinos can sell, let's say five dollar and twenty five dollar chips, they're making money. That's that's for sure. Now, ultimately it depends on how many chips the casino makes, but um, THC or, or I say RHC is probably going to take over RHC. Um, RHC is going to take over THC. Keep confusing myself, but. <laughs> It might take some time for people to get used to the RHC chips. I don't notice a difference. Um, obviously, let's say if you're in play, you're not going to notice a difference, or at least I don't. Um, maybe the only difference might be the weight, but like I said, most chips nowadays aren't leaded. They're all 10 gram. Um, and you're not going to find anything, let's say, uh, heavier, or let's say like 12 grams, like I know some TRKs are. But Nothing is going to be up in that weight, but as a final thing, I think RHC will take over THC at some point. Is it going to be in the next maybe few months, near future? Maybe not, but like I said, it ultimately depends on what um, Paulson and GPI are going to, if they're going to keep creating the hat and cane chips, the standard ones with standard size inlays and crazy colors, or they're just going to stick with RHC chips. So. I just wanted to kind of talk about that. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like. If you have any comments, put those down below. I know there's probably quite a few people into chips that might have some comments about this. So put those down below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Ain't nobody